You know it's true. Yes. We ain't gonna call no names. Cause I'm all up in this. But the truth of the matter is, yes. if anything yes. gonna throw you off, yes. that will do it. So we made it a point, we said, you're going to do a covenant with God. And you're going to give them to him once and for all. And just like you can't pick your salt back up out of that bag and say, oh, this is my, you cannot take them back because now they are in the hands of God. And I don't care what bad thoughts the devil come and try to bring you. You can say, not so, they're in covenant with God. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about us. You don't have to start crying over them. Every time the thought comes, you know, they they are in a soft yes, covenant. Yes. The Bible says a soft covenant lasts forever. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Why? Because he needs you focused right about yes. now. You're about to take this revelation a little bit higher yes. now. Glory to God. Yes. It's about time for you to step into the realm of what God has promised you. Yes. Jesus did not lie when he said, I came to bring you life. Yes. And, that you, and I want you to have it. Right. Not in have you. Right. Right. But you have it more abundantly. Right. See, and you got to get within your spirit. Like I said, you got to get literally to the point where that's it. Mm -hmm. that's right. mm -hmm. See, when I came into this, I had found myself saying, Lord, it ain't supposed to be this way. Okay. Now, it's just not supposed to be this way. And I'm not going to be doing this every week. I can't be struggling like this. If I'm going to do your will, then this cannot be. It cannot exist. The same time I exist, something's coming to be Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you got to get to the point where enough is enough. That I'm not taking any more of this. I know what your word said. And it's a problem. You got to act like a king. Come on. You got to get your ruler. That's why I told y'all you need a ruler. You need, there you go. You need, you need a ruler. Okay? Absolutely. Because that's what, when you want to draw an absolute straight line, you don't want it crooked and you don't want it messed up. What you do? You get yourself a ruler. Why do you think the Lord called you rulers? Hallelujah. See that went right over some of your head. Because he wanted to use you to draw an absolute straight line. So that people will know what his standards are. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That you stand by the standards. Yes. And no matter what comes, you don't back off. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And no matter who it is, you don't back off. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You have to understand the importance of a king. Amen. Oh my God, this is Amen. If a king is a king, it's because he has a kingdom. Yes. Come mm. on. And every king has an army. Hallelujah. This is where we get to the good part. Because I was trying to figure out this whole heavenly host thing. And he is the, the, the Lord of hosts. Come on, come on. And when you realize then that what he has made you, he literally said that, you know, Jesus said that what God has conveyed or conferred or given unto me, I also... Give it unto you. So then watch now. A king has to be born into. That's why you had to be born. I told you, that's why we had to be born again. Born again. So that literally brings you into an inheritance. Yes. Right. Amen. You are heirs, does not the scripture say, of what? Salvation. Oh, so this is where it gets good now. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. After he explains the realm of what he's been called to and what he has to do, because some of it sounded a little bit difficult. I'm like, that's good if you can be all that. But he didn't stop there. He finished it up. And, and, in other words, he's saying, and just in case you have any trouble, have we not ministering spirits that are there to minister for us? So in other words, as a king, 
you need to utilize your ministering spirits, which are, watch this now, you look it up, they're no different than the heavenly host.